Howdy YouTube. I hope I get her name right. I think it's Debbie. Asked me a question about insurance. She's looking at getting a van similar to mine, a cargo van. And I'll keep the insurance part real quick. This is everything I think and know about insurance. Um, cargo vans are just more expensive in general, especially if you want something low mileage, like 100,000 miles or less, you're gonna spend quite a bit more probably than you would on a car. And insurance is gonna be the same way. I pay more than I did when I had a car, but when I talk to other people who drive big vans and rigs and stuff, especially people who have RVs and insure them as RVs, what I pay is really not that bad. And what I pay is maybe a shade under $60 a month, which to me seemed outrageous because I was paying for my little vehicle I had before this, it was a little VW convertible, and I was paying $35 a month or something. It was very old, it was like an 86. And for a vehicle that's over 20 years old, or heck, that was over 30 years old, you're gonna pay a lot less. So when I insured the van, I thought it was really expensive. Plus, I've got tickets, I got a couple of little fender benders, um, little things like that that I'm waiting to go off my record, and then I'll go back down some. But you are going to probably pay more. I definitely recommend anyone who's looking at any kind of vehicle price insurance before you buy it. All you've got to do is call a handful of companies. Geico I had a bad experience with. They wouldn't even give me a real quote without me giving them a credit card number, which to me is never doing business with those people. But there's some other big names that you can call up and they will just give you quotes on various vehicles in various places. Gosh, I was on the phone with my people. I was thinking about going, uh, moving to another state, or really, I was mainly thinking about where I wanted to buy land. And I was just asking, how much is insurance in this state, this state, this state? They stayed on the phone with me for 20 minutes. They were awesome. So there's people out there who can help you, and I just recommend giving them a call. You can also call an insurance broker. An insurance broker is the best way to find a good deal. In my experience, they found me... Uh, who I had the insurance on my house with, the property I own. I had insurance with a company that they found for me for a long time. Then I finally found a better deal on my own, but for a long time, the best deal I could ever find was the one they found for me. Same thing with the vehicle. The company they found for me is still the best deal. I've shopped around here and there, but call an insurance broker. Um, once you know kind of what kind of vehicle you want, and then they'll find you the best deal. But as far as seeing do I want to get a cargo van or a minivan or a whatever? Just call your insurance company, whoever you have now. Say, I was thinking about buying this vehicle. Be clear that you haven't bought it yet and make sure they don't add on your policy. Keep a close eye on your policy after you call because they did goof and try to do something weird with my policy after I called them. Uh, so make sure they don't do anything like that, but they will help you if you call them. Now, quickly I want to talk about is a van really the right thing if it costs more? Um, I've thought often about what I would do for my next rig. Would I go smaller? Would I go bigger? Would I stay the same size? Honestly, I've given a lot of thought to getting a little four-wheel drive vehicle, something like a CRV or a RAV4 or a Subaru or a little Toyota Tacoma with a, with a cab over camper. Really, I prefer something I can just climb in the back of. But I've kind of been thinking about a little four-wheel drive, and that would certainly be a lot less money on insurance. It would be a lot less money on gas. It would be a lot less money on a lot of things. So weigh the options before you buy and make sure what you're getting is right for you because a lot of people camp comfortably in a Prius or in some other SUV. You can also get these tiny trailers to pull with them. See you next time, YouTube.